medical stations on corona uh, affect. Uh, now, uh, I want to, to talk about the uh, some analysis on the non-compact space. So, uh, my motivation is uh, I want to, to uh, try to understand complexity of smooth structure on non-compact four manifold. So at least there are two ways. Uh, one is to find some topological constraint. Another is to find some metric topology constraint. So uh, actually, so if you have a compact manifold, uh, there are at least two ways to have a non-compact space. One is to take universal covariance space. So this is uh, not fake board, this is real. Uh, so uh, I mean by metric topology, uh, if you consider about, for example, the, uh, I will explain later in detail. Uh, if you consider about uh, the L2 cohomology, then uh, a priori it is defined by using a uh, Riemannian metric under the base manifold, on the base manifold. But it turns out uh, the L2 cohomology on the universal covering space is independent of choice of Riemannian metric on the base. This is uh, one in typical instance of uh, metric topology. So concerning uh, a, a, another way to obtain the non-compact space is uh, to have open subset in a compact manifold. If you have some open subset, then the, uh, you get a non-compact space. So uh, there are at least two ways. Uh, and uh, in relation to this, uh, I want to raise uh, two, some problems. So first, uh, let M be a compact spin and a spherical smooth form manifold. Uh, then uh, the inequality should hold where the left-hand side is uh, the Euler characteristic of M, and uh, right-hand side sigma is the signature of M. Uh, actually, uh, this uh, is, uh, our approach is uh, to do some analysis on the universal covering space, I will explain later. So this is the uh, first, uh, trial to, uh, to my uh, study on non-compact space. And second, pro uh, ah, sorry, so before this, uh, I, I just uh, shortly uh, explained. Uh, actually, our approach is combination of two, uh, just two uh, subjects. One is called Zinger conjectures. Uh, I will explain later what is Zinger conjectures. Uh, this is about on L2 cohomology theory. And another is, uh, the, uh, this is, a, a, there is a full uh, 10 over eight inequality. Actually his inequality is uh, a bit stronger, P2 is uh, larger than or equal to 10 over eight uh, times absolute value of signature plus two. Uh, but here, uh, this is uh, what, what we want to use. This version is enough for our uh, purpose. So actually, uh, there is a very uh, similar inequality. Uh, similar inequality was known, which is called hitching soap inequalities uh, for uh, Einstein for manifolds. However, uh, our, uh, in our case, uh, our uh, inequality, our approach is very different uh, from the, uh, this uh, subject. Uh, it would be very interesting to, to try to, to uh, connect uh, theory, uh, a study of Hitchin's soap inequality with Zinger 
uh, conjectures. Uh, but so far, the, uh, I don't know how to relate them. So this is a uh, uh, first uh, problem. Second problem uh, I want to address is uh, there exists a, a pair of non-compact smooth four manifolds uh, such that they are uh, mutually homeomorphic. Uh, but one, one of them admits uh, some complete Riemannian metric uh, which satisfies some characteristic. And the other uh, should not admit any such metrics. So uh, the characteristics uh, I want to focus is uh, existence of non-trivial L2 harmonic self dual 2 form, uh, which is uh, L2 exact at infinity. What is L2 exact at infinity? Uh, I will also uh, explain this later. So uh, the, this uh, property is related to the Gromov's approach to the Zinger conjectures. Uh, this uh, point uh, also I will explain later. So uh, uh, this is uh, just one comment that uh, uh, it is known that uh, for connected non-compact form manifolds, topological form manifolds always admits uh, at least one smooth structure. Uh, this uh, was known, uh, this was verified by Queen. So now uh, I want to focus, uh, I want to start from, uh, uh, sorry, uh, from uh, the first problem of this type of inequality. So uh, the, let me the quickly uh, review uh, about bauer fulta theory. So let M be a compact oriented smooth spin for manifold. And uh, uh, S plus minus be the corresponding spin all bundle. Then the, uh, there is a monopole map. So uh, Uh, this uh, is uh, the uh, very uh, well-known subject in gauge theory uh, with uh, small uh, minor modification uh, like addition of uh, cohomology groups. But basically, uh, this is uh, essentially the same as uh, cyborg with the map. And uh, uh, in uh, elementary topology, uh, it is well-known that it is uh, quite fundamental. If you have a map between uh, finite dimensional compact manifolds of the same dimension, uh, they are oriented, then uh, you can count uh, inverse, uh, number of inverse of uh, some the regular value. Then this coincides with uh, a degree, uh, like x star. So this is a, 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 if they are oriented then and compact, then this is integer. And this is given by some multiple of some integer. So uh, it, it is well known that uh, uh, this number coincides with this degree. So uh, if you uh, change the station into infinite dimensional stations, then you have, and if you replace f by the cyborg witten functional, then uh, this is a cyborg witten variant. Uh, on the other hand, Bauer Fulta focuses on the degree uh, part. So, uh, in a sense, uh, Bauer Fulta theory uh, contains reformulation of cyborg witten variant. And the point is that uh, you have to replace the finite dimensional object by infinite dimensional one. This is a, uh, uh, roughly the, this uh, is a power for the theory. So a uh, monopole map is given by uh, the, uh, some uh, functionals uh, here. 
uh, is a one for smooth one form, and this is a, a spinal sections, and uh, and you take the self dual part of the differential, and uh, this is some quadratic part, and this is uh, the Dirac operators. Uh, I, I will not explain the, uh, in detail about uh, uh, on this equation, equation uh, on this uh, on this functional. But what I should tell you is that uh, if you uh, take a sobre completion, then uh, this map, this monopole map, uh, becomes a continuous map between this uh, Hilbert space. And uh, it turns out that if the uh, underlying manifold is compact, then uh, this mu uh, is this mu is uh, of course nonlinear map, but uh, most parts are linear isomorphism. Namely, uh, this is a, a just uh, the pictorial. So if you have a nonlinear map like this, uh, there is a finite dimensional part. And here uh, it's also finite dimension. From here to here, uh, this uh, map is nonlinear, but uh, on the orthogonal complement of finite dimensional space, this is linear isomorphism. So uh, if you have a map uh, which is linear isomorphism, then uh, this is degree one. So you can eliminate from uh, the uh, extra part and you can uh, for, uh, restrict on the finite dimensional uh, but nonlinear part. This is a uh, very rough idea of Bauer filter theory. And uh, I have written here, uh, this is a, a so-called finite dimensional approximation of the nonlinear map. So as a result, uh, we have uh, some proper map between finite dimensional uh, vector space. So uh, you can uh, consider a degree of this map. So a bit uh, uh, detail. So uh, actually uh, in the spin case, uh, this uh, uh, approximated map is actually the pin to a uh, module map. Uh, this is a, a priori a V and W are a, a vector, finite dimensional vector space, but actually uh, it, it is a pin to module map. So uh, actually uh, you can compute more, uh, there's some uh, the, uh, real line uh, equipped with some involution and uh, Cartesian space. And how many products you take, uh, it is computed by a tier single index theorem. Uh, and uh, it turns out that the K is the index of the Dirac operator. And B is B plus. So now, uh, actually uh, from this setting, uh, you can induce uh, some non-trivial inequalities. Namely, uh, B is uh, strictly uh, larger than uh, twice of K. And twice of K is a uh, minus of signature over eight. Why uh, you can induce uh, this uh, inequality? I will just quickly explain. So before this, uh, if you, uh, there is some both periodicity involved. Uh, for a complex uh, P2 representation, uh, KGV uh, is actually the uh, RG is a, a representation link, uh, free RG module generated by the both element. Uh, this is well known. Then uh, if you have a, a proper map between a proper a G module map, then the, for G equivalent, equivalent proper map, eh, P2 
between complex uh, pin to representation, V and W, uh, uh, we have an induced homomorphism on the equivariant K group. Then because of this both periodicity, uh, there, uh, there should exist some unique element uh, in the representation ring uh, such that this induced map should be given by the multiplication of this element. And this element is called a KG theoretic degree uh, of a proper map F. So now, uh, how to, uh, uh, in order to obtain this uh, inequality, uh, actually we can compute uh, this KG theoretic degree. Then the, I just uh, write the conclusion. It is uh, two to the power of B minus two K minus one uh, times uh, one minus C. And here C is a, a part of generating set of complex representation link and uh, by integrability, uh, this should be non-negative. So uh, we can uh, induce this inequality by the computation result. So what I want to do uh, is uh, to generalize this to the inner setting over the uh, universal covering space. Uh, so by this way, the, uh, we have uh, some this uh, uh, full task inequality. So now uh, I uh, recently the, with Kono and Nakamura, uh, we produced the, uh, some the, uh, interesting uh, examples. Uh, but uh, today the, uh, I want to, to uh, focus on the non-compact analysis. So uh, I just uh, uh, I just say the, a few words about this. Actually, by uh, using the family of cyber witness theory, uh, we ob we have obtained this uh, stronger inequality under the some uh, the, uh, several conditions. Uh, this, uh, I will write the typical uh, sessions of this. So uh, it is well known that K3 surface is homeomorphic uh, to two times. Uh, this is a, a, a simply connected topological manifold uh, such that uh, its intersection form is minus E8. Uh, it is known that this uh, topological form manifold is not smoothable. Uh, so the I, we can just have the homeomorphism. So K3 surface uh, is homeomorphic the uh, two times connected sum of minus E8 manifold and the uh, three uh, connected sum of S2 cross S2. So uh, what uh, we have used is typical uh, 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 our uh, case example is something like this. Uh, S2 process two. Correct a uh, collective sum no n times S2 process two. Uh, sorry. So now uh, if if we focus on this part and if A is bigger than three then uh, this part is smoother. But uh, it is known that if this part is uh, less than or equal to two, then this part is non smoother. So 
So uh, we will uh, use this, uh, we will apply uh, this case, uh, and then, uh, but uh, as a thought, uh, if uh, you add uh, more connected sum of a sucrose test too, then in total, uh, this space is of course a uh, smooth surface. So now, uh, under these uh, conditions, uh, you have uh, some uh, uh, here, uh, you have the some the involutions. You prepare the some involutions. Uh, on uh, a sucrose S2. Then you can construct the uh, mapping torus. Uh, because the uh, number of involutions is n, so you can construct uh, n cross uh, 0, 1 times n uh, by uh, involutions, identifications. This is Hyra and Koba torus. So the point is this uh, if a is uh, less than or equal to 2, then this part is non smooth subway. So, by using this property uh, and uh, by applying this uh, inequality, uh, we have produced some of the topological fiber bundles. Actually, X is nothing but this. Uh, and uh, the total space X is smoothable, but uh, this. A uh, fiber bundle is not smoother as a fiber bundle. Uh, this is because uh, this part is non smoother. And combining uh, with the previous inequality, uh, we can uh, conclude uh, that this vibration satisfies this property. So uh, this is obtained uh, by using the family of cyber within theory. Uh, and essentially, uh, arguments uh, depends, uh, relies on the uh, stronger uh, inequality of Hurtas. But today, uh, 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 this is uh, just the I want to uh, say. Now, uh, we go back to the covering case. So, uh, my uh, problem, first problem is if M is a compact spin and a spherical smooth form manifold, then uh, the aspherical inequality should hold. Uh, as I said, the left-hand side is Euler characteristic, and the right-hand side, sigma, is a signature. So how to approach this? Uh, here is a strategy. So we would like to uh, address uh, another uh, in qualities, uh, which is a covering version of Hurtas 10 over 8 in qualities. Uh, here, uh, B2 gamma is a uh, uh, L2 cohomology. So, L2 cohomology uh, roughly speaking uh, on, the, on the universal covering space uh, you have the uh, L2 cohomology. Uh, here the, we use any kind of lift metric. So uh, uh, if you choose any kind of Riemannian metric on the base manifold, then you can lift the metric on the universal covering space. So, uh, so this metric is the uh, uh, invariant and the fundamental group actions. So uh, then the, uh, you obtain the L2 cohomology uh, and uh, this dimension is uh, all uh, zero or infinity. Uh, but if you roughly, uh, if you take the average by gamma actions, uh, so gamma by one all, if you take the, some average by the gamma action, then uh, this is uh, it's a finite uh, number, which is called uh, L2 pitch number. 
uh, uh, maybe x. So uh, what we would like to uh, propose is a covering version of Hurtas 10 over 8 in quality on the universal covering space. Then the statement should be something like this. Uh, the second L2 batch number is larger or equal to 10 over 8 times absolute value of uh, L2 uh, signature. However, uh, because of Atia's gamma index theorem, this coin always coincides with 10 over 8 times absolute value of signature. Once uh, you have this inequality and uh, combine with Zinger conjecture, then you can obtain this uh, inequality. So uh, I will, uh, yes, here. Uh, I will explain later the what is Zinger conjecture, but actually Zinger conjecture uh, claims vanishing of L2 batch numbers except middle dimensions. So firstly, uh, this uh, I will explain. Uh, if you have if you have some situations which uh, hold, uh, both uh, these things holds, then you get this inequality. Uh, by the following argument. So firstly, Euler characteristic on the base manifold M coincides with L2 Euler characteristic. This uh, also comes from Atia's gamma index theorem. And by definition, this is an uh, uh, alternative sum of the L2 batch numbers. But because of Zinger conjecture, uh, this uh, always vanish because uh, the, 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 there is no uh, ha L2 harmonic function on non-compact space uh, of infinite volumes. So this is zero, and this is zero, and by the, uh, and this is zero, and this is zero. So only this uh, middle degree L2 batch number survives, can survive. So now, uh, so the, this uh, part is the Zinger conjecture. And if you apply a covering version of uh, Fultas 10 over 8 in quality, then you get this. So uh, assuming uh, these two properties, this and this, uh, uh, we can obtain this in quality. So this is the uh, basic uh, idea of this. So now, actually, uh, there are uh, known cases, uh, but uh, these cases uh, is independent from the covering analysis. Uh, these cases are obtained by a very different uh, argument. So, uh, for example, the, if M is a spherical surface bundle, then uh, this inequality holds by Kotick. And this uh, argument depends on the existence of a simplex structure, so very different. And also, uh, the, the, there are some the, there are some very interesting the, uh, results by Boa. And uh, it claims uh, if the pi one is amenable uh, or a, a pi one uh, pi one of cross hyperbolic manifold of dimension. Uh, uh, larger than or equal to three, then this inequality holds. And also, uh, in, uh, by using the Miyaoka Yao inequality, uh, if M is a complex surface of general type with C1 square uh, is uh, uh, non negative, then the, this inequality holds. So uh, these are uh, very different, uh, uh, these are obtained by very different uh, uh, type of argument. Now here, uh, we have uh, some uh, results. So covering version of Fultas 10 over 8 in quality uh, holds for any spin form manifold with residually finite fundamental groups. Uh, I, will, uh, I want to quickly explain why. So because 
of the conditions, uh, you have uh, an infinite sequence of uh, normal cover of finite index. And the uh, uh, covering space of spin manifold is uh, also spin. So uh, by Furuta, uh, you have uh, this uh, inequality. So uh, this, uh, actually this is uh, uh, Furuta's uh, inequalities. Uh, and uh, you can divide by the uh, uh, by the covering degree, uh, which is the finite integer. So uh, just the uh, you divide by mi. Then the uh, signature is actually uh, multiplicative uh, under finite covering because of the uh, Hillsborough signature theorem. Uh, Signature is given by integral of the uh, uh, L genus, which is a polynomial of uh, rational Pontrain class, which is given by uh, the uh, local the invariant. So this is uh, invariant uh, signature is multiplicative. And then the, if you let i to the infinity, then uh, two over mi uh, go to zero. And this uh, is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, just a signature on the underlying space, and it is known that if you let i to the infinity, the average of batch number uh, actually converges to L2 batch numbers. This is give, uh, was verified by Luke. So uh, in the case of residually finite, uh, you have a the these inequalities by combining several facts. So what I'm interested in is a non-residuary case, residuary finite case. Uh, but before this, uh, uh, combining the, these uh, results, so suppose M is aspherical and spin, and pi1 is residuary finite. Uh, and uh, Sorry, uh, I should uh, say it, uh, more about Kera hyperbolic, but uh, I will explain what is Kera hyperbolic. Uh, actually, Gromov introduced a notion of Kera hyperbolicity, and Kera hyperbolic manifolds uh, satisfy Zinga conjectures. So, uh, if the manifold is Kera hyperbolic, then Zinga conjecture holds. And from the two uh, uh, conditions, uh, you can conclude the covering version of Furuta, 10 over 8 in quality. And from here, uh, you get the Zinger conjecture. So combining these uh, two properties, uh, you get uh, uh, aspherical 10 over 8 in quality. So there are some uh, examples. Uh, Like uh, the, 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 there are some examples that, uh, uh, which satisfy the, this, these conditions. For example, the, the simplest case is a uh, product of Riemann surface. But as I said, so what I'm interested in is uh, uh, to uh, verify uh, this aspherical inequality for a non-residual case, no, non-residual finite case. So if you lift uh, the monopole map, over the universal covering space, and then you have uh, something uh, like this. So H0 always zero. Uh, he, here, uh, H0 uh, should uh, enter, but it is always zero. So now, uh, here, uh, some difficulty arises. Uh, actually, in a non-compact case, some infinite dimensional situations uh, inevitably happened. Uh, on the locally, on each compact subset, you have roughly the some finite dimensional approximations, but uh, because uh, underlying space is non-compact, uh, you have uh, infinite direct sum, uh, you have to treat infinite direct sum of finite dimensional approximated space. So uh, as a result, uh, you have to the, the, uh, analyze uh, infinite dimensional space directly. But still we have some hope. Uh, in uh, non-commutative geometry, 
uh, this uh, at a glance, this sounds very strange, but uh, in non commutative geometry, there is uh, infinite dimensional both periodicities. Actually, uh, if uh, you think straightforwardly about uh, the both periodicity on Hilbert space, it does not exist. But in the sister algebra techniques, uh, you can still uh, obtain the some uh, the K theory about uh, periodicities. Uh, and actually, the, it is uh, it uh, with the infinite group actions uh, still the, it holds. So the uh, result is written here, uh, which was verified by Higson, Kasparov, Trout, and there is a, a isomorphism uh, between K group. Uh, here, uh, SCH is something like uh, essentially the, this is a uh, some functions on the uh, infinite dimensional Hilbert space with values in the uh, uh, infinite dimensional Clifford algebra. This uh, is not uh, 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 precise. Uh, you, uh, you have to, uh, we, uh, we have to just uh, state uh, more rigorously, uh, but uh, because of time, the, uh, I will skip it. But there is some, the, uh, some sister algebra, uh, which uh, it's the something like uh, the, uh, like this. Then the, actually, uh, this uh, this algebra is very big. Uh, but actually, uh, because uh, they uh, verify the both periodicity, uh, this K group uh, is actually the isomorphic to the K group of group sister algebra. For example, if uh, group action is trivial, then this right hand side is integer. So even in infinite dimensional situations, uh, we have uh, some uh, the, uh, K theory space. So by using this, uh, we, we have uh, uh, what, uh, so far that what I verified is, uh, let mu be the uh, covering monopole map and uh, uh, consider that it's a sobref completion. So the, uh, I assume the two uh, conditions. Uh, first is a linearized operator is isomorphism. And second, uh, a tier hitching single complex has close range. So then uh, the, the, there is an uh, induced uh, map, equivariant stuff homomorphism. Uh, between the uh, sister algebra. Uh, and so as a result, uh, we have a, a induced map on K theory. So this uh, star homomorphism uh, is very hard to analyze because uh, this sister algebra is very big. But uh, if you uh, apply K theory functor, then uh, this uh, groups becomes much smaller than expected. So, uh, the next step uh, to obtain the covering version of uh, uh, to obtain the covering version of Fulter's inequality, uh, we have to uh, I have to be able to compute uh, mu star, uh, but this is not uh, not done so far, uh, and uh, this is in progress. But what uh, I expect is uh, this uh, is the same as uh, the. What we expect is the conclusion is the two to the power of B plus gamma minus uh, H over the signature plus one. Times uh, uh, this new star coincides with uh, something like this. But so far the, this is not verified. So now uh, this is uh, uh, my first uh, the, uh, problem. Uh, and uh, second problem is uh, about, uh, uh, I will quickly, uh, I will just go back. What is my second uh, problem is this, is uh, some existence of pair of uh, four manifolds, uh, which uh, admit some the uh, metric characteristics. So these things also uh, 
related to the Zinger conjectures. So next uh, topic is L2 harmonic theory and cyber witness theories. Uh, this uh, case, uh, 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 we use an uh, open subset in a uh, compact four manifold. So now, uh, Zinger conjecture on L2 harmonic forms. So let M be a compact manifold uh, and equipped with any uh, Riemannian metric and consider that it's uh, the uh, lifted metric on the universal covering space. So Zinger conjecture uh, states that if M is aspherical, then the L2 cohomology groups vanish except the middle degrees. Uh, this is uh, known for many uh, cases. Like uh, the, this is very easy to see the uh, 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 Riemann surface with negative genus uh, because there are, there's no harmonic L2 functions on the hyperbolic space. So the uh, B0, gamma is zero and by Poincaré duality, B2 gamma is also zero. So only the B1 survives. And actually the uh, spectra of hyperbolic manifolds uh, have been uh, computed by Donnelly and it, it is known that the Zinger conjecture uh, uh, also the truth for this case. And what I want to explain is uh, Kehler hyperbolic manifolds, which was introduced by Gromov. So now uh, let's uh, explain the Kehler hyperbolicity. So let M be M omega be a compact Kehler manifold and uh, a constant it's lift on the universal covering space. So uh, on the compact Kehler uh, manifold, uh, of course, omega uh, is not exact, of course. But it can happen that uh, if you lift the uh, Kehler form on the universal covering space, then it can be exact. For example, if M is aspherical, then X is uh, contractive. So the, on the contractive space, a uh, cross two form is exact. So now uh, the M omega is a Kehler hyperbolic. Uh, if the lift uh, of Kehler form uh, is exact and uh, the alpha uh, is actually in uh, L infinity. So alpha uh, has a, a bounded L infinity norm on X. So this is a non-trivial condition. And what uh, Gromov verified is a uh, Zinger conjecture uh, holds for a Kehler hyperbolic manifold. Uh, this is very uh, strong result. Uh, but idea is very geometric. The uh, example is uh, Kehler manifolds uh, with negative sectional curvatures. Uh, in more precise, uh, if M is a Kehler manifold, and if M admits another metric uh, which, whose uh, sectional curvature is negative, then it is Kehler hyperbolic. So now here, uh, this is about Kehler hyperbolicity, and uh, we uh, generalize uh, its uh, notion. So let XG be a complete Riemannian manifold, and uh, a closed form, uh, we say a closed form is LP exact at infinity if there is a compact subset K such that uh, it is exact on the complement of K. So uh, if P to the infinity, uh, this uh, condition is weaker than the uh, K, uh, Gromov, the uh, hyperbolic Kehler hyperbolic conditions. Because uh, in, in a Kehler hyperbolic case, uh, alpha should be L infinity uh, bounded on all points. But in our case, uh, uh, we can uh, just uh, assume the complement on some compact subset, it should be the L infinity. So now uh, I will soon explain about uh, the uh, examples of this. But before this, uh, 
Uh, I need uh, uh, another uh, notion of KSI cylindricity. Uh, to let, uh, we say that X is KSI cylindrical if there exists a compact exhaustion uh, and a diffeomorphism Ki to Ki plus one, such that a restriction on some neighborhood of the boundary is isometric. For example, the uh, uh, cylindrical manifold satisfies this property. And actually, the, what uh, uh, we really need uh, is the following the, uh, properties. So uh, suppose uh, X uh, admits a complete Riemannian metric, which is KSI cylindrical. Then, uh, and moreover, uh, suppose X uh, is an open subset of a compact manifold M, then uh, there, uh, there exists a family of Riemannian matrix HI on M, such that a restriction on, uh, on KI uh, coincides with G. And a volume of complement of KI is uniformly bounded. If moreover, a complete Riemannian metric on X uh, has a positive scalar curvature, then actually a uh, scalar curvature of HI is uniformly bounded uh, from below. So this uh, is very elementary. Uh, it is not difficult to show these properties uh, for KSI cylindrical manifold. And actually, KSI cylindricity, uh, this uh, is a, a differential topological condition, and uh, this is metric conditions. Actually, we can, uh, for our uh, purpose of applications, uh, we can replace this uh, differential topological condition uh, by these uh, metric properties. So now here uh, is uh, uh, my result. Uh, there exists a pair of uh, open smooth four manifolds, uh, X and X prime, such that they are mutually homeomorphic. And uh, one of them admits a complete Riemannian metric uh, with a star. And another uh, X cannot admit any complete Riemannian metric with a star. And the star, it uh, consists of three properties. One is there uh, exists a non-trivial L2 harmonic self-dual two form, which is L2 exact at infinity. A second condition is Riemannian metric is KSI cylindrical. And the last condition is G has a non-uniformly positive scalar curvature. So uh, uh, from, uh, from the last condition, uh, I don't assume uniformity, so uh, you cannot do gauge theory on the open manifold X in a standard way. Because uh, scalar curvature uh, values uh, can collapse to zero at infinity. So uh, my uh, problem is to present a pair of X and uh, X prime, uh, which, uh, whose condition star is replaced only by first one. But this is, uh, to approach such things, uh, I'm not so successful uh, to uh, present uh, such pair of uh, examples. But if you uh, add uh, more conditions like this, then you can uh, obtain pair of four manifolds. So uh, let's start from easier case. Uh, first, uh, X prime. X prime can admit some complete Riemannian metric with these three properties. Excuse me. Yes. Your time is almost up, so therefore. Excuse me. Your time is almost up, so therefore, please finish your lecture in a. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Few minutes. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry. Uh, yes. So the first one is just uh, a cylindrical manifold. 
X prime uh, just uh, a cylindrical manifold. Uh, uh, but second one, uh, uh, sorry, uh, X prime uh, this, this, uh, this uh, you can uh, just uh, uh, use uh, a cylindrical manifold uh, with uh, such that uh, uh, if n is a compact manifold, which admits metric of positive scalar curvature, then the complement of one point admits uh, uh, positive scalar curvature uh, and uh, these two properties. So the main part is to construct the x, which, which excludes these properties. Here, uh, we use uh, some L2 harmonic theories. Actually, uh, the uh, argument is very much the same spirit as a Gromov's Kera hyperbolicity. Uh, here, uh, if uh, L2 uh, self dual harmonic form is L2 exact at infinity, then uh, there are no sequence uh, such that uh, U uh, is not, uh, you cannot be approximated by the image of the uh, exact form, such that uh, DA of L2 norm of DA is uniformly bounded. So such a sequence cannot exist. But uh, at last, uh, our argument is uh, we can find such sequence. So we get a contradiction. So here uh, we use the uh, cyber with 10 uh, theory. Uh, but part of the one, uh, here U uh, is a, a essentially the uh, L2 harmonic self dual uh, two form, which is L2 exact at infinity. So by using such uh, forms, we part up equations. So now uh, this is a final step. So we take the K3 surface and open subset uh, this is the uh, uh, three times S2 cross S2 part. This is X is actually homeomorphic to the uh, connected sum of S2 cross S2, uh, but it is not diffeomorphic to S2, uh, S2 cross S2. So now uh, we verify that no complete Riemannian metric can satisfy uh, such conditions. So the, we uh, argue by contradiction, uh, uh, we use a contradiction argument. Uh, actually, if such a metric exists, uh, take HI, and then the, because uh, on the cyber good invariant is non-zero, uh, always uh, solution exists for any metric and for any perturbation. So uh, we have we choose uh, solutions uh, for each Riemannian metric HI. Then because uh, Riemannian metric uh, asymptotically a uh, 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 approach to G uh, at the limit, uh, uh, at the limit, uh, it gives a solution of part of cyber the equation. But because X admits uh, a non-uniformly positive scalar curvature, actually it turns out that the spin all should be zero. So this implies uh, you, uh, there is some the, uh, one form uh, which asymptotically, uh, whose image of D plus asymptotically approaches to U. But this uh, cannot happen uh, by the some L2 harmonic, uh, L2 harmonic theories. So this is a very rough argument. So uh, I want to finish. Thank you very much. <laughs>